Good day and welcome to Positive Possibilities. My name is Heather Whitfield and I would like to introduce you to the most amazing world of veterinary physical rehabilitation and hydrotherapy. Veterinary physical rehabilitation is the treatment of dysfunction in the musculoskeletal or neuromuscular systems. The goal of my profession is to maintain, maximize and restore optimal function and functional ability throughout the lifespan of the animal. Patients that undergo surgery, a fracture or a cruciate ligament or even neurological conditions have changes to their bone, cartilage, muscle, tendons and ligaments. For example, dogs that have undergone surgery, um, say for instance to repair a cranial cruciate ligament, may lose up to one third of their muscle mass within the third year of the surgery. In some cases, that muscle mass don't even get restored. As with physiotherapy for humans after trauma, disease or surgery, the benefits of veterinary physical rehabilitation for animals are just as great. These benefits might include increased speed of recovery. It is a great positive psychological effect for both the pet and the owner. It improves flexibility and joint movement. It also improves biomechanics and flexibility and it helps with strength and endurance. It also reduces pain while it is a really non-invasive approach and of course it minimal complications. Lastly, it also helps with prevention of further injury through owner education. Positive Possibilities, we incorporate a wide variety of veterinary physical rehabilitation modalities to cater for various pre-operative, post-surgical, orthopedic and neurological conditions. Hydrotherapy takes place in three different centres, the spa bath, underwater treadmill and hydro pool and can be used as entities on its own or in combination with one another. Hydrotherapy is possibly the most valuable component of rehabilitation. There are specific principles of water that provide unique benefits to the patients. These properties include relative density, buoyancy, hydrostatic pressure, viscosity and resistance, surface tension and water temperature. In addition to this, the swimming stroke comes quite naturally to most dogs and it is enjoyable. Many conditions benefit from hydrotherapy, such as post-operative fractures, joint surgery, neurological conditions, or any other conditions or disorders where the dog is reluctant to use the limb or where there is a lack of strength, balance and proprioception. Water provides a complete or semi-weightless environment for dogs and cats to exercise in. Soaking in a hot spa can have many health benefits. The word spa is an acronym for the Latin solus per aquam, meaning health for water, so true. When the body observes heat, several psychological processes occur. As the body warms up, blood flow is increased and blood pressure is subsequently reduced. It also promotes muscle relaxation and while the body is soaking in the spa, the blood circulation returns deep within the body at a warmer temperature than before, delivering therapeutic heat where other treatments cannot. It also brings about temporary pain relief. Exercise in the underwater treadmill allows for active range of motion using the warmth, buoyancy and resistance of the water. It is also a safe, controlled environment with minimal risk of injury. Dogs move in a walking or jogging pattern and joint kinetics is more complete than with swimming. The water resistance increases the activity of the muscles during the swing phase of gait. Warmer water increases circulation, caloric expenditure, nerve conduction velocity, improved coordination and increased soft tissue elasticity and reduced pain. Most dogs who had joint surgery, such as a cranial cruciate ligament stabilization, femoral head or neck excision, intervertebral disc extrusion, or who suffers from obesity, dysplasia, and osteoarthritis, generally perform very well in the underwater treadmill. The therapist also controls the water temperature, water level, 
depending on the point of injury or trauma, the speed in distance, as well as the treatment inclination or descent. Advantages of exercising in a hydro pool is that the patient is completely non-weight bearing and the thoracic and lumbar spines are suspended in the neutral position by water buoyancy. This reduces the risk of injury and eliminates almost all joint concussive forces. Again, the warm water will have a major impact on the rehabilitation. Warming of the tissues and increased metabolic demand by the way of swimming may also stimulate the release of endorphins and encephalins that contribute to improving mood, relaxing muscles and managing pain. Conditions that benefit from swimming in the hydro pool includes neurological conditions such as degenerative myopathy and spinal cord injuries, most orthopedic conditions, osteoarthritis and patients that are overweight will benefit from swimming. At positive possibilities, we make use of various electrotherapy modalities. TENS, which has been widely used to identify stimulators that modify pain. EMS, or neuromuscular electrical stimulation, has been identified with muscle re-education, prevention of muscle atrophy, and enhanced joint movement. Therapeutic X ultrasound, nerve stimulating, light and magnetic therapy. Electrical stimulation is effective for many purposes such as muscle strengthening, muscle re-education, increased range of motion, correction of structural abnormalities, improving muscle tone, pain control, wound healing, edema reduction, muscle spasm and enhancing transdermal administration of medication. Deep heating agents such as therapeutic exercise can alleviate tissue temperature at depths of about 2 cm or more. This is an effective treatment modality for the rehabilitation of musculoskeletal conditions such as restricted range of motion resulting from joint contractures and scar tissue, pain and muscle spasm, tendonitis and bursitis. Therapeutic exercises are extremely valuable modality and undoubtedly the most important aspect in rehabilitation. Some goals of early limp use are encouraged through various aspects of physical rehabilitation such as improved active pain-free range of motion, it increases muscle mass and strength at allowed weight bearing, helps with balance, proprioception and general performance, it also improves lameness and, if maintained, improve core strengthening while it helps to prevent further injury. Many conditions affect proprioception and balance. Most obvious of these are our neurological conditions, but musculoskeletal conditions are also affected. Therapeutic exercises are also one of the most enjoyable aspects for us as therapists as it often forces us to think out of the box to motivate a patient to move, use a limb or just to induce balance and activity. It also motivates the owner to get involved in the rehabilitation process. In our profession we use massage mainly as manipulation of soft tissue of the body. When we massage we consider the biomechanics and connective tissue, lymphatic circulatory effects, tissue movement, therapeutic effects and the effects on muscle and pain. Various massage techniques, passive range of motion and stretches are incorporated in a session and typically indication for massages includes musculoskeletal problems which lead to postural and gait adaptations, mobility after surgery and disease, massage for our competitive dogs and performance dogs, fatigue and muscle soreness. Thank you for sharing today with me and I'm really looking forward to see you and your companion animal in my practice. Should you wish to come and visit us, please feel free to contact me for an appointment at any stage.